What's up everyone? Double D here. Today's video is going to be recapping some of my eBay sales. This is my first video like this. Um, part of my new strategy for the channel for this year and also getting into other money making opportunities. So what we're going to do in this video is go through, I'm going to talk about some of these things that I've been picking up at thrift stores, uh, what I paid for them and how much I sold them for. Uh, there's still going to be 500 subscriber giveaway so be sure to stay tuned till the end figure out how to get entered into that so we'll get on into it here right here we've got a kenmore refrigerator water filter that i picked up at uh goodwill i believe for about 329 uh, these things sell pretty good got 16.95 out of this one i paid shipping Next up is this pulse oximeter. Picked this up at Goodwill also for $5.29. I was able to sell that for $19. Also, I paid the shipping on that. Um, some of these medical supplies do pretty good on eBay. Uh, they can buy them. I can buy them cheap, and they can buy them cheaper than buying them at the store. So everybody wins. Got this uh, early 80s Yahtzee word game. Uh, Goodwill, those were pretty cheap. Bought several games that day. A couple are still listed. Um, put three twenty nine into this one. Had all the pieces and some extra stuff with it, so I was able to get fourteen eighty out of that. Also, went with free shipping since I got it so cheap. That sold in just a couple of days. Next up, we've got this Panasonic DVD player slash VCR slash DVD recorder. What you can do with this is convert your VHS tapes to DVD. These things are kind of old and you don't see them too often, but picked it up for $10.29, sold it for $181 plus shipping. Um, those go pretty quick. That thing sold in just a couple of days. Uh, I've also picked up several more VCRs and things like that here recently that'll probably be in the next video, but been doing pretty good with the uh, VCRs. Seems like they sell really quick. I sold one in just an hour today. I went to Goodwill today and bought one and sold it right away. So here we've got this vintage metal chicken. Um, I just picked that up because I thought it was pretty funny. It's four bucks. I listed it. It took a week or so to sell. Um, ended up getting 1850 out of it. So that's pretty good, but I was kind of going to keep it because I think it's hilarious. But things like that do sell. <laughs> this is another funny one here. The old shake weight. Um, picked that up for like five bucks. Um, seems silly, but sold it for 25 in like two days. I uh, feel like there was a whole South Park episode about that thing, but that's a story for another video. But um, it worked out. These things are out there. Next, we've got the Sony Smart Blu-ray DVD player. It's got Wi-Fi. Um, had the remote and all the cords and everything with it. Uh, picked that up for $5.29. I was able to sell it for $39.99. Um, went with free shipping on that just to go ahead and get it out of there. But it only took about a week to sell. Um, pretty good item. Now, this item here turned out to be a really good one. Um, picked this up at a thrift store. I can't remember the name of the thrift store. It wasn't a Goodwill, but this was on the cart. It hadn't even been put out yet, and they had it priced $7.99. And I just went ahead and scooped that up because I knew it was going to be worth something. Um, turns out it was worth 60 bucks on eBay. That was a good score. And uh, believe it or not, just yesterday, I found another one at a thrift store. So selling that again, hopefully it'll perform the same way for me. I was able to get this Sony 5-disc CD changer at a thrift store. Um, it was 20 bucks, which is a little more than I wanted to spend, but I had looked it up and... It was selling good, and it sold within an hour of me posting. So anything you can turn 20 into 100 on in just a matter of hours, I can go for that. Uh, again, with the medical supplies, those have been doing pretty good for me when I can find them in good shape or find them, period. They just kind of show up. Uh, blood gl glucose meter here, paid five twenty nine for it at Goodwill. Uh, sold that for 60 bucks on eBay to someone in Puerto Rico. So keep your eye out for those. Uh, they've been doing really well, things like that. Looked into some cookbooks at a Goodwill. There were several there. Um, this Lithuanian one um, doesn't look like much, but that thing sold in a day 
for 20 bucks plus shipping. Um, who knew a Lithuanian cookbook would be good? Uh, this Betty Crocker cookbook did really good too. Got that for three twenty nine. Also, that sold in about two days. So, quick turnaround on that, making a few bucks here and there. The customers paying the shipping on a lot of these, so that helps out. So, this is a meat grinder attachment for a KitchenAid. Uh, figured with hunting season, that was a pretty good time to buy that. I think it's probably a good buy anyhow. I think I paid five bucks for that at Goodwill. Uh, flipped it for $20. Those are pretty good anytime, I would think. Uh, it was brand new in the box, just open box. So another good score here with this uh, Magnavox DVD player VCR combo. Uh, picked this thing up for $10.29 and sold it within an hour on eBay for 90 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I'm really starting to like these VCRs. And the VCR DVD combos, they seem like they're going pretty well. I uh, figure the only reason is, is that they're vintage now, technically. I don't think you can even go to Walmart and buy a VCR if you wanted to. Here we've got the Skill Electric Ratchet Cordless Power Wrench, it says. Uh, picked that up for, I think I paid $15 for that, but I knew being vintage that it ought to sell pretty easily. Should be a pretty easy sell. Uh, took about a week to sell, but managed to get $40 out of it. So pretty good flip. Uh, neat thing to see, too. They don't make them like that anymore. So that's all the items I've got for this week. Um, be sure to tune in next week. I've got some really good picks here that I've got listed. Um, i got one that's really good. Hopefully it sells soon. I'll be able to put that in the video. But got some other sales to put in there already. Uh, so be sure to like and subscribe so you can get a notification when the next video comes out. Also, speaking of liking and subscribing, um, that's what you're going to want to do for uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, like this video, share it, comment, and subscribe to the channel there. And then once I hit 500 subscribers, I'll pick one subscriber and um, they're going to win something. I don't know what it is just yet. I'll try to have it figured out by next week, but thanks for tuning in, guys.